Water covers 70% of Earth's surfaces and is vital to all known forms of life. Access to safe drinking water has improved steadily and substantially over the last few decades in almost every part of the world. There is a clear correlation between safe drinking water and GDP per capita. Okay. Some observers have estimated that by the year 2025, half of the world will be facing water-based vulnerability. Water is essential to all of life. Wisdom and humility is needed in how we use our water. Humans, animals, and plant life are all threatened by the way we use our water. In Manitoba, we have vast amounts of water compared to the rest of the world. By not yeah. polluting our lakes, we have access to clean drinking water. At Argyle, we have installed new low-flow water taps. Our use of hydroponics helps us see how water is essential to growing food. Argyle is half a block away from the Red River. The river reminds us of the beauty of water and how we need to respect it. Contemplating the river helps us reflect on the gift of water. Hi, I'm Alec Peters. I presented this video last year as part of a keynote presentation for a Youth Encouraging Sustainability Conference at Okamic Marsh. This conference was sponsored by the Science Council Manitoba. I also presented it last year at the Manitoba Water Conservation Conference in Brandon. As a result of this process, I am more concerned about the access to safe water globally. Everyday lack of access to clean water and sanitation kills thousands. In fact, every 20 seconds, a child dies from a water-related disease. Almost 1 billion people lack access to safe water globally. The water and sanitation crisis claims more lives through disease than any war claims through guns. Children living in poverty can often carry up to a thousand parasitic worms. Most people who need safe drinking water survive on less than two dollars a day. You may be thinking you want to do something about this problem of access to safe water and sanitation. You may be thinking all these problems are far away from you and me. You may be surprised to know that in your own backyard, just an hour flight away from Winnipeg, there are four reserves at Island Lake that have severe water problems. The people of Island Lake reserves have less water than people living in refugee camps. These reserves have poor sanitation and no running water. The irony is, they live in a province with one of the higher concentrations of water in the world. Canada is also one of the richest countries in the world. Skin conditions and chronic diarrhea are common in reserve homes where it is hard to find enough water to keep clean. But sometimes the results are more deadly. Superbug infections and killer flus are closer to becoming a reality on reserves. For example, St. Teresa Point was ground zero for the H1N1 virus. That level of danger should have been a wake-up call for the Government of Canada to take the water problems of remote Manitoba reserves more seriously. Ironically, there have been numerous Manitoban campaigns to raise money to bring clean water and other needs to the third world. Hundreds of millions of dollars have been given to worthy causes. It would take far less to solve the water problems in northern reserves. I strongly urge you to do at least one of the following. Sign the petition Water is a Human Right at petitions24.com, write your MP addressing the water crisis, or make a donation at safewater.org, or phone the Assembly of Manitoba Chiefs to see what you can do.